today we're going to talk about business immigration in Canada. All programs will lead to a work permit that will eventually lead to a permanent residency. There's only three programs in terms of direct permanent residency. The first program is the startup visa, which will give you a PR plus work permit. The work permit is optional. We have another video. We talk about that. Just click on that and we can you can find out more details about it. It's pretty straightforward, but you do need an incubator, venture capital, and or angel investor to support your startup. The other two programs that will offer you direct permanent residency are the farming programs. So farming investment. If you're a farmer and you go through Saskatchewan or Manitoba and if you are selected, you will be able to receive a direct permanent residency on arrival and then do your invest. If you're not a farmer, forget that. In Saskatchewan and Manitoba, farming is big business. So if you don't know what you're doing, I highly suggest you don't even bother trying to get a direct PR through a farming program. So what are all the other programs then? Well, they're usually provincial nominee program, entrepreneurial, which will give you a work permit with an option for a nomination for a permanent residence from the province after anywhere from six to 24 months. So let's look at the provincial entrepreneurial work permits. So there's always a minimum investment amount. Typically there's an expression of interest. So they will give you points based on your profile on how much you'll invest, your background, how many Canadians you're going to hire, which regions of that province you're going to invest in. So based on that profile, you put in all your data, they will give you points, allocate points, and the province will invite you for interviews or potentially submitting documents to be selected to invest. So you give them a business plan and they will give you the opportunity to apply for a work permit, to come to that location in that province, to implement the business. After a certain period of time, they will audit you and say, okay, hey, uh, you know, Maggie or Joe, whoever you are, you promised us to invest this much in this industry, set up this business and hire, invest and do these activities, which will bring the economic benefit to our region. Did you do that? And if you did that, they will nominate you for a permanent residency. So now you're going to ask, okay, Reza, well, which province is easier? Which province has the lowest investment amount? Which province has the shortest amount of time before I can get a nomination? Well, I have that information for you. The shortest one is Manitoba six months then the next easiest one is prince edward island that takes 12 months then i would select nova scotia as the next let's say easiest one and then the most difficult ones will be ontario and bc very strict higher investment amounts very competitive alberta has no business immigration stream you have uh, saskatchewan which is also a very good program and then you've got Manitoba, which is also a very good program. That's the shortest nomination period. Then you go into Quebec. Well, Quebec has an entrepreneurial program, the startup. If anybody tells you anything different about this business immigration, well, make sure you do your research. Don't be fooled, don't be naive. Make sure you, you do your homework and you invest and you're ready to settle. Remember to like this video and connect with us through our social media, especially our YouTube and our website to get a free assessment.